Okay, with using the pen tool, let's say I have a line that looks like this. And I want to make another shape just below it. Well, I don't want to keep going over here and hitting this arrow and then hitting this arrow and making another shape. If I just hit P on the keyboard, which is pen, I can now make another shape without going over to that menu. P. Okay, now the next tool I want to show you is the smooth tool. If I have a line like this and it's it's so linear. This is a linear curve from point to point, from point to point. If I want a nonlinear curve, I can use the smooth tool. If I just click and drag, it will smooth these areas out. And it's based upon me clicking from here to here. And sometimes it's really hard to get, you know, what you're sort of looking for as far as a curve goes. And why that is, is the settings in the smooth tool. So let's double click the smooth tool over here. If you don't see the smooth tool, you got to click and hold in this area to get the smooth tool. Double click on it to bring up the points. So here I have the fidelity and smoothness. So smoothness, if I make that go up, and if I take my fidelity and make it go up, I could probably now straighten out that curve very well. So now let me explain what fidelity is. Fidelity is the ability to have points. Now the points are going to be no greater than 8 pixels apart. And no less than 8, well not no less, but no greater than 8 pixels apart. So those points are the contact from here to here, here to here. So now if I look at smoothing out this, and let me completely try to smooth it out. you'll see these points start to shift around. And after I do this a few times, let's go to the white arrow and look at my points. Okay, what that has done is eliminated almost 100% of my points. Only f I only have three left. Okay, that's because my fidelity was set so high. With my fidelity set lower, I will not be able to reduce that and I will have a different variance. Now these are spaced 8 pixels apart. The smoothness is very easy to explain. If I grab a curve and I go into smoothness, of course, the higher this is, the smoother it will get, the faster. So if I, let's say, set this to fidelity 3, but I have this set to 100, if I just barely click these, you know, they'll start smoothing out. And because that fidelity is set so low, these pixel, these points are not going to move as much, but it's going to do a heck of a job at smoothing. And little parts like this, where they meet, aren't going to smooth as good until I put my fidelity up. So practice this smooth tool and see how it works, and then go on to the next video.